Hello. Welcome to Pure Soul Alchemy. I'm Gabriella Espinosa, and I'll be taking us through a psychic surgery treatment for the next 20 minutes. So please find a comfortable place where you can lay down and relax and rest to receive this session. It's most beneficial if you lay down and close your eyes. Um, so Pure Soul Alchemy is a transmission of channeled shamanic operations through my perception and vocalization of what I'm perceiving on the inner energetic grid, we are opened in ways which allow these technologies to come through and enact change on our behalf. Allow your mind to relax into the words and phrases that are coming through without focusing too much on trying to interpret them. Notice any attempts by your mind to hold on to them and then just simply let go into the healing transmission of what's being said. If you fall asleep, that's great. So it's quite helpful to replay the session often to deepen its healing effects and take the healing further. And if you find the session helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, so you'll be informed of new and upcoming sessions. So today's show is a shamanic session to aid in the release of any unconscious contracted response or body responses. Expansion and contraction are a natural course of existence. We flow into one and then the other as part of life's natural rhythms. And we usually experience an initial fear and hesitation when we encounter where life is wanting to take us next. It's just very normal and natural uh, when we're faced with any type of change that's coming our way. And sometimes, however, when our fear is more than what we can work through at the time, or we don't have the support or inner resources to face what's coming up, what's coming towards us and what's coming up in response to that, then it can turn into a, a chronic contraction holding pattern in our bodies or in our hearts or in our energy field. Um, so before listening to the session today, envision your ability to face and transcend fear, pain, resistance, Envision your capacity to face it um, opening, strengthening, expanding, and growing, coming more and more online. So that's the goal. That's the vision of what we're going to be doing today. So now go ahead and rest, relax, and you can close your eyes at this point and lay down. Begin taking a few deep, slow breaths. And as are you are deeply breathing, begin feeling gently into your body. Notice how it feels in your body. Notice where you feel any tension, pain, numbness. Notice where it feels nice and pleasant and great. Envision your breath reaching these areas. Envision your breath bringing life force and vitality there. And allow this natural, slow presence, awareness, breathing to continue as we begin our session. So we're going to begin by connecting with our divine physical and non-physical intelligence to align completely with our own core essence. Aligning with the fundamental and essential aspects of ourselves. Aligning with the earth, the sun, the moon with our own mother, father, God, self, with our own inherent creator self and a right placement in the universe. The purest healing source within us is our own deepest aspect. We agree to serve as our own healing agent and to serve from and as our own ultimate inner counsel, the all that I am. We now invoke, welcome, and receive 
our beloved mother and father God to exact their loving divine blessed grace directly into our healing proceedings today. <sighs> healing point number one. So we're going to begin by optimizing and opening our capacity to relaxing relaxing a sense of present day recoil so it feels very present time it may be old it may be present time regardless we're opening the way for us to allow the relaxation to move into relaxation to move forward move towards relaxation of any past or present recoil in our bodies, in our minds, in our thoughts, in our energy field. Right, releasing past influences. We're doing a dissolving of past influences. Great, creating open-hearted awareness, resolve. Open-hearted awareness, resolve. <sighs> Healing interior unmet anchors that are responding to pain-filled influences. So we're doing a, we're applying a healing force to that construct. Interior unmet anchors responding to pain-filled influences, past, present, or future. Why not? We'll put that in there. <sighs> Okay, so I was going to do this later, but I have to do it now. So let's go ahead and begin doing a dispersal of body, body clenching, gripping, a dispersal of body clenching, body gripping, and we'll do more of this throughout the session, a releasing of this. <sighs> Great. Resolving in the known and unknown capitulations from the past. So we're doing a resolving here. Resolving of unknown and known capitulations. Ways in which we've given up. Given in. And a healing of all the energy expenditures for maintaining these capitulations and a reclaiming of that energy. Great. We want to open and awaken distinguishing between past, present, and that yet to come. <sighs> Usually our uh, painful patterns when they surface, they feel very present time. And so we really want to open and awaken our capacity for distinguishing and, and just coming into the awareness that, oh, wow, this is, this is some pain from the past. This has nothing to do with the person who's in front of me or the situation I'm confronting right now or that's confronting me. Right. Announcing the perceptions of those as ease free, and light. Authoring according to vital life inclinations. Releasing a priority reflex. Not quite sure I follow what that means, but it runs really deep and it has something to do with um, knowing when to sit back and contemplate and, and think on something before taking action, something along those lines. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of holding uh, that we're contacting, which is good. And um, 
Yeah, so going back to what we were doing, our, this unclenching, unholding uh, phenomenon, so we're doing some gentle application of release and uh, clearing, uh, relaxation. Great. Releasing amorphous debt sequence. Releasing amorphous debt sequence. <sighs> Okay, something about gently letting oneself off the hook. Gently letting oneself off the hook. Great. Clearing a contortion effect. Great. Relaxing a, uh, a rehearsal complex. Playing things out over and over, or the compulsion to do that. Or the, you may not do it, but there, you may feel like this urgency or need to do that. Untethering, dislodging belief structures that are bound. <sighs> Great. And so what that does is it creates obstruction to us examining our beliefs. And seeing if they're really how we feel or, or not so that we can let them go. Great, so we're really doing a healing, uh, releasing of a belief structures that are bound, releasing these bindings for the purposes of self-examination and self-reflection, free flow. Great, and distilling those into grace. Healing point number two, climatizing your space to one of knowing, bigger picture. So climatizing your space to the bigger picture, the higher purposes, the higher roads. <sighs> and by climatizing, it's like um, making yourself feel more comfortable with taking the high road or um, falling into step with bigger picture. Um, orientation. It's like just an example. Oh yeah, this chocolate would be so good. And I, I really want to eat it. And it's like, wait, bigger picture. Is it good for my health? All that sugar, all that soy lecithin or whatever. <laughs> just an example. Embracing the current state of self, body, circumstances as a whole. So that we can make an informed decision, an informed choice, the next thing that we act upon. Great, let's clear fear, trepidation, Awakening right line of thinking, right line of thought. Waking into the joy of ease-filled surrender as we are initiated to sync up with divine holding patterns release. So divine release of holding patterns. Awakening to a deeper relaxation, orientation in the body. Great, I'm gonna do a little clapping, clearing there. This is meant for the gut, the solar plexus, um, the trunk. <laughs> Let's clear higher field trepidation. Let's clear a force field of worry. Let's clear rhythmic interlocking of pain. Let's clear this. Dis we're doing a dispersal of this.
Great. So awakening to a deeper relaxation orientation in the body, in referencing the giving up of old pathways. <sighs> Particularly those old pathways that are uncomfortable, that are contortionistic, that are holding, that are clenching, etc. Great. Awakening to a deeper relaxation orientation in the body in referencing new body frontiers. When we're contacting new possibilities for our states of well-being in our body and the choices and the, uh, the new life path that that entails. Opening the body to uncoil from contracted energies. Great. Releasing a sense of displacement from our bodies, from within our bodies, from, uh, you say, in ref reference, in relation to our bodies, etc. Releasing an attachment to hidden turmoil and trauma from the past. <sighs> gently unclenching, gently letting go of bottle, bottle lock, gridlock, and the perception, I have no other choice but to lock up my body this way. <sighs> Great, really doing a dispersal on that one. Great, so really honing in on the specific locations in our body that have been tight, tense, hidden anxiousness, worry, freneticness, panic, etc. Gently unclenching, giving full permission for gentle unclenching, giving full permission to give up whatever it's been holding on to or holding out from, etc. cetera. Great, and a little clapping, clearing back of the neck. Great, let's clear a body lock interface relationship orientation to life and life's givings. bringing the light of awareness to these deep these deep spaces within bringing the light of our awareness to these deep spaces within giving full permission into relaxing into what's next what's next for us giving full permission to relax into that Okay, something about cycling in and out of danger zone um, orientation. So we want to do a dispersal there on that cycling. Awakening the body, mind. with strength to observe, accept and allow, watching as our simple neutral attention, neutral loving attention shines light on our inner healing to do its thing. Giving space for the synchronization with the divine unfoldments that grace bestows upon us. In tune with that which is coming forth for creative engagement to proceed. Great, so we're doing another level of dissolving any habituated 
body specific clenching patterns or like specific locations deep within our bodies of clenching, constriction, contraction, holding patterns. Great, so we're doing another round of dissolution of these holding clenching patterns. And any un unconscious belief that it's important for our survival, we have to, I have to brace myself. So it's clear on that belief, uh, deep hidden belief that I have to brace myself for what life brings me next. Danger, danger. You want to clear on that. <sighs> New styles of light incorporating into wholeness. Great. And I want to put online a uh, process for, it's going to be a month long body relaxation unfolding process. So it's going to keep going gently, subtly after you hear this session for about a good month. But do keep playing the session again. Great. So at this point, we're going to do our alchemy declaration. And this declara these series of, of sentences and declarations, we're going to be putting them and infusing them into your energy field for them to take hold and come into your life. So witnesses, I now witness this new internal automatic strength and courage to take life head on, to face life head on, to engage opportunities for my transcendence. Taking life back, taking my life back in the deepest parts of myself. I'm committed to every day, in every moment, relaxing any holding or constriction patterns that are due to fear any kind of fear. I now witness myself acclimating to this new form of meeting life's passages, life's journeys. I'm watching it taking a vital place in my everyday life. I'm watching as I courageously engage the unknown, the unpredictable, the path not yet taken that is available to me. I courageously turn my orientation to life to a welcoming one, a relaxed place of peace, readiness, and confidence. I now see myself from now on welcoming the new and welcoming myself simultaneously. And I allow my body to relax into the grace of my divine 
unfoldment. Great, so we're now bringing our session to a close. Thank you so much for tuning in to Pure Soul Alchemy. I, finally, I highly suggest that you play this recording over and over again, repeatedly. Uh, that way you can take your healing even deeper with each listen. Um, if you find the session helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. To schedule an individual session or for more information, please visit www.puresoulalchemy.com. This is Gabriella. Have a wonderful day and thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.